Hi everybody, this is CD Readings and hi Gemini. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you guys. What do we have for Gemini, please? Show me messages for Gemini. Show me messages for Gemini. In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves. Uh, what about your new person for those not interested in the past and general messages from spirit. So do have a look. Ears wide open and sacred reverence. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is that number 33 could be significant. Number 47 separately. Number 11, number six, number three could be significant for you. Some of you could also be seeing repeated numbers a lot. If so, pay attention to what that number is. Now, sacred reverence and ears wide open. I feel like a lot of you need to pay attention to something. You are being told to stay alert and to look for signs because signs are all around you. Another thing I'm getting here is that you have some sort of like this um, divine intervention in a certain matter in your life, okay, that you may be worried about, but there's not much to worry about it because you are... It's like you're being blessed, but at the same time, a lot of you sometimes may be feeling like you're alone or you don't have the resources or this, that, and the other. You may be feeling like you have to do everything yourself and all that. Another thing I'm getting here is that there's something about your day-to-day -day routine that may be changing. Um, and there's some, so, some sort of a drastic change there. Another thing I'm getting is that for some of you, uh, there's something about your health. So take care of your health or some of you may have had issues, maybe, you know, some throat issues or mental health issues, something like that. So take care of that. But other than this, I feel like you are here being told to pay attention to something. And we will, of course, see what that is. Okay. So let's have a look. What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini, please? What do we have for Gemini? A new romantic cycle begins. Okay. <laughs> okay. Show me more, please. Expect a powerful change. Listen up. There's something powerful. There's something big that I see is on the horizon for you. Show me more for Gemini, please. Show me more for Gemini. <clears throat> Hold your vision. Don't give up on something. Uh, and your commitment is being tested. Oh, a lot of you have not been feeling good, even emotionally, mentally, physically. Confidence is the key to success, which is Leo energy. And we do have a Leo new moon coming up. So I feel like with this Leo new moon, again, you are being told to release something. But at the same time, Leo is a fixed sign. And so is that first card up there. It's fixed moon energy. So... What is something that you are being urged to take action towards? Um, I'm really getting Gemini that you are being guided towards something. You're being guided towards something. And of course, we will see what that is. Show me more, please, for... Um, Gemini. Show me more for Gemini. Q 
King of Pentacles. Mm, page of Swords. King of Swords. Judgment. And the Ace of Swords. Now, Gemini, there's a lot of influence here of other people. For some of you, you may be dealing with more than one person. Or is that I feel like in the past you decided to detach from something. You decided to release something and you are still releasing it, letting go and freeing yourself from something. It almost looks like a situation where you felt like there were more problems than the situation was going good. So you decided to back off and detach from the situation, okay? And I do feel like even, you know, moving towards the future, you're owning your truth. You're living in your truth, okay? You are trying to be clear with your mindset. So, again, you may have detached. And the reason for your detachment does seem to be that you realized certain things. Maybe there was an epiphany. And again, it just looked like a situation that was out of control. And the best thing to do at that time did seem like, okay, I need to maybe walk away and let go of this king of pentacles to the page of swords energy now another thing i'm getting here for you significantly is that some some of you are researching on something learning about something or trying to definitely expand on your um finances okay there as well i see a lot of focus but at the same time i'm kind of getting this energy of um i'm ready to move forward Okay, because something in the past doesn't really work out for me. Five of Swords energy. See, so some of you feel like you got played by a person, Queen of Swords. You're detaching from this individual. And I feel like there is a certain level of like um, mutual energy there where you could be detaching. And it also looks like they're detaching from you. So it is seeming very mutual. Okay, Six of Swords energy. Five of Swords, Queen of Swords, Six of Swords. You're letting go. There's a lot of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. For some of you, maybe this conversation even happened, but it does look like you decided to back off or to let go. Your person's energy is the Four of Cups with the Page of Wands. Okay, they're still wanting to communicate and maybe clear the situation. I feel like this person is very like they're not very satisfied about the situation they feel like you're kind of like giving them a cold shoulder which it does look like you're moving on but we will see your outcome from the reading is the emperor ace of cups your challenge is the three of swords advice is the eight of pentacles and the empress Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm noticing something here. I'm noticing that you're getting the Emperor, the Empress together, and King and the Queen of Swords together. Well, it looks like um, there is a soulmate connection here. Your challenge here has something to do with the partnership, with the love situation. Three of Swords, Two of Cups. You got heartbroken here. And some of you can't seem to let go of that pain or it still bothers you. Advice, Eight of Pentacles, Empress. It's it's almost like redirecting your focus towards other things for now, okay? Eight of Pentacles is okay. I'm working towards something. I'm ready to manifest what I want, but I'm putting in the work to make it happen. Empress is, of course, growth, productivity. Uh, it's about attraction. It's about many things, but it is a very positive energy, of course. Uh, sometimes we do have to work our way out of such situations. Your outcome, Ace of Cups, Emperor. Perhaps there's a new beginning that you're being prepared for, but let's see. Let's clarify. Show me the King of Swords energy. And of course, some more in-depth reading about your person is going to be linked in the description box if you're interested. King of Swords. Eight of Swords. 
Oh, Tower, Knight of Wands. Uh, this just looked like a situation that was confusing you, mentally burdening, burdening you and exhausting you. I feel like for the longest time in the past, you were going through something mentally. There was something that was affecting your mental health. Uh, sometimes there's a reason, sometimes there's not. I don't know about that, but it, it does look like, you know, you're removing yourself from the situation, which is good. So there, that is also a sign of progression. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. A lot of you, I feel like Gemini, are very reserved with your energy, with how much you're giving into a situation. And perhaps how much you are willing to give into a situation. Um, what's the Ace of Swords? Nine of Wands. Some of you also need to maybe save your money, but over here I'm kind of getting that there's something you're being told to let go of, to release, okay? Five of Swords, please. <clears throat> I'm seeing some of you are mentally very exhausted, by the way. The devil. When it comes to love, oh, devil, Five of Swords. Mind games. Mind games. Obsession. Annoyance. Control issues, whatnot. A situation got very toxic for you. I feel like for some of you, you've been trying to figure out for the longest time what you can do to fix the situation. But that has also been taking a lot of time. How you can fix things. How you can make things happen. Um, sun card Ooh. listen up gemini whatever happened happened how your reading is progressing there's something beautiful on the horizon for you there may even be a good news coming in with the sun card and this is leo season which is just around the corner by the time you'll be seeing this i feel like i'll be posting it today or tomorrow it will be leo season already <laughs> strength card another leo energy uh, i feel like this leo season is going to be very significant for you um gemini things are kind of like headed towards a very very positive direction but if some of you feel like there's a sense of entanglement especially when it comes to what has been going on in your mind maybe work on releasing it or letting go of it you do your part and take it one day at a time. Eight of Pentacles, Empress, try to shift your focus towards what's working instead of what's not. Because I feel like even in a relationship, you were so invested, but it didn't go as planned. Um, you have so many cards coming out for you. Give things time to unfold. We have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. We have palm tree stability, security, permanence, boat, receiving what you need, girl with a snake. So there was a toxic dynamic here that you're moving away from and we have all eyes on you. So it almost looks like there may be somebody um, stalking you or wondering about you or there could be like a lot of attention from different people on you right now I don't know about that but 
all I can say is that there's a sense of progression and something about Leo season or the sign of Leo is significant. Some of you may even have Leo, um, Leo placements. Let's read for you your Oracle messages. Let's see, what do we have for Gemini? Ears wide open, deep listening as a gift we give to others, understanding someone else's needs, showing focused attention, tuning into another and letting go of the ego's need to be heard. Now is the time to let it go. Offer your attention as a great gift as it is. It is time to stop multitasking, checking your phone, thinking of what you're gonna say next and doing all the other things that keep you from connecting fully. Whenever we are in a state of chaos and distraction, paying attention to only some of what is being said, we lose the ability to pick up on anything, including that which is not being said. Deep listening is the way in which we immerse ourselves in the truth of the world. In this way, with the ears wide open, we also open our hearts and minds to understand more than what is conveyed through words alone. Opportunities arise from the subtle cues we miss when we are not 100% present. So this card is telling you to stay present and receptive. Sacred reverence. Spirit is everywhere. Inspiration coming through through you as a result of reverence, joyful living, exploring possibilities with curiosity, spiritual passion, manifesting from the starting point of the realm of spirit. It is the act of deep witnessing, respect and awe. You experience it when you perceive every being and everything, every plant, rock, tree as sacred and alive. Whatever your dilemma or question, Try to reframe your perspective to acknowledge the spiritual. If everything has value, including your most frustrating challenges, would you still ask your question from the same place? Can you regard the other as sacred, thereby erasing the separation between you? Embracing the perfection of how you come together is real magic. Wow. So that's about it, Gemini. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And check out the reading about your person linked in the description box if you're interested. Take care and bye-bye. Bye-bye.